السلام ورحمه الله يو يور لايف ابولوجيز فور يعني ان شاء الله وي غونا تراي تو ميبي اكستند 15 مينتس تو نايت جود يو ثينك وي كان اكستند يو كان توك تو زيشان اكستند 15 مينتس جاست تو انسر ذا كويشنز جو اهيد بليز نيم ستيت اند كويشن يس ماي نيم از يوسف ام كولينج فروم كولومبس يس سيد جو اهيد وات از يور كويشن تو نايت My question is that uh, is a Muslim allowed to donate uh, organ to brother or sister Muslim? Okay, um, while they are alive, right? While they are alive, and the yes. other the yes. other party the other party is in need for that organ. Yes. Yes, he can do that. Yes, he can do this. Uh, one more question. Yes. In the, in, in, in the operation, if one of the in the operation one of the muslim if it uh, dies is there a sin committed لا يا اخي لا there is no sin provided look at this now provided that this person goes through the uh, medical procedure of checking up that he is fit to give up that organ that uh, basically the doctor or the physician or whoever is in charge tells him listen if you give that organ you're going to be just fine you're going to function fine if it it happens that uh, uh, you know uh, the person dies or no there is no sin inshallah we hope in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept them and have mercy on them inshallah I mean, I mean, جزاكم الله. الله فيك جزاك الله خيرا. Uh, brothers and sisters in Islam, you heard uh, Sheikh Yusuf and uh, uh, about the contest. Um, you know what to do now. So please, um, you know, go ahead and uh, and uh, and do your your part. And uh, it seems to me like the Sheikh is is allowing you to campaign uh, for your videos, which is um, I didn't know. So. You can go ahead, be Mila, and and try to to get this going. Okay, as we uh, uh, we wait for our phone calls, uh, we have some here. Let me see. Um, all right. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. All right, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. Zakaria alayhi salam had a very very interesting story. What is the story? Read Surah Maryam. كاف ها يا عين صاد ذكر رحمة ربك عبده زكريا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله شيخ نعم I call I call earlier my name is عبد الله from Atlanta I just have one more question yes عبد الله go ahead my wife has a friend who's recently started to wear the hijab the head scarf But uh, the husband is having a problem with her wearing the headscarf, and they're about to have a problem. So I just wanted to uh, you to uh, say something about uh, Islamic ruling about that that, that issue going on. Uh, first of all, the Islamic ruling: our sister is not to obey her husband once it comes to this issue. قال صلى الله عليه وسلم كما في حديث ابن عمر لا طاعة لمخلوق في معصية الخالق. There is no created being. or a, a created being is not entitled to an obedience that comes at the expense of the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, the wife is to obey her husband, but not in this area. I tell this husband, ittaqillah, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is a blessing to have a wife who is willing, uh, who is going for this. Come on, brother, I love you for the sake of Allah. What do you want your wife to do? Go around showing her body to the people? Come on, brother. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. السلام عليكم. وعليكم السلام. نعم، نيم ستيت اند كويشن بليز. ماي نيم از امال اند ام كولينج فروم كندا مونتريال. يس سيستر امال، وات از يور كويشن تو نايت؟ يس بليز. از ات حرام فور وومن تو هايد هير وايت هير يوزين يوزين كولر؟ لايك دارك كولر؟ Yeah, there is. Haram, or should, or can we? Can she use another color? Dying. You mean dying? You, you mean dying the hair? Yeah, yeah. I mean that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah using dye, yeah, using yeah. using henna and stuff. Uh, not, no, not henna. You okay. Mean the the, the view, special color that we. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. The view of the jurists regarding this issue, brothers and sisters in Islam, the majority of the jurists. They say it is permissible for the women to do this, provided that she is not trying to deceive um, khatib or somebody who is coming to get uh, engaged to her. No, no. Yeah, for her husband. No. It is. For, for, yeah, for, yeah, yeah, for, yeah, yeah, I got it. Inside the house. Nah, nah, it is permissible to do this. I have, uh, even I, I remember I was asked this question before. 
And um, Alhamdulillah, somebody brought this back up because I was going to tell everybody that I made a mistake um, telling the sister who asked the question, no, uh, it's haram to do this. But I have actually checked this matter and I found that the view of the jurors, they said it is permissible for the woman to dye her hair, uh, provided that she is doing this for her husband. Jazakallah khaira. Uh, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, um, uh, uh, Zakaria alayhi salam, I wish I can tell my story, but at the same time I cannot leave this. For Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam. Name, state, and question, please. Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Name, state, and question, please. Um, I was wondering, um, I was going to ask a question. Okay, go ahead and ask the question. What is the question? Okay, you're gonna have to. You, you're gonna listen, listen. 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 What is your name? What is your name? My name is Mohammed Hussein. Mohammed, I want you to turn down the television and listen to me from the phone, so we get this going because we have a lot of people calling. Come on, Mohammed. I was gonna ask you, um, when you're a, when you're at a very young age, do you have to learn the Quran? It's ideally the words of Allah, the book of Allah, Muhammad, the speech but of Allah. Can you wait until you grow older? La Muhammad, ideally when you're young. Ideally when you're young, Muhammad. Go for it, Muhammad. Go for it. Memorize the Quran. Memorize the Quran. You know, Allah, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Muhammad, that the people who memorize and learn the Quran are the people of Allah. Ahlullah wa khasatu. In the day of resurrection, Muhammad, you will be with the noble of the angels. Muhammad, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, will say to you, recite as you used to recite in the dunya. Indeed, your status is uh, based on the last verse that you used to recite. Then, is it better when you're, when you're young and you learn the Quran? Absolutely. It's easier. Easier. You know, Muhammad, a lot of brothers who are old now, like 20 and 30 years old, who would love to learn the Quran, but they are so busy, uh, they don't have the time. And also the memory is occupied with other worldly things. You get married, you have children, you have to provide, you have to go to work, you have to check this. But when you're young, if you occupy yourself with the Quran, Muhammad, that's very good. Go for it, Muhammad, go for it, go for it. Jazakallah khaira. Brothers and sisters in Islam, ذكر رحمة ربك عبده زكريا إذ نادى ربه نداء خفيا قال رب إني وهن العظم مني واشتعل الرأس شيبا ولم أكن بدعائك رب شقيا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام عليكم شيخ وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته name state and question please my name is Abdullah I'm calling you from California how are you brother Abdullah Alhamdulillah, brother. Thank you. Go ahead, the brother Abdullah. Your uh, question. I wanted to ask you if it's appropriate for women to do namaz janaza, and if so, how should they do it? Well, they do it like they do the regular salah in the uh, the, the places where the women are. Uh, they do not uh, pray with the men, uh, of, of course, and they do it exactly the way that the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the brothers do it for takbirat or you know, uh, yani they follow the they, they do the janaza the way it's done, but it is not recommended, Abdullah. It is actually highly disliked that they follow the janaza. And I know a lot of my, our sisters, especially if they are family members, they insist on this. But it is, it is not permissible for them to be in the vicinity of the burial when the brothers are burying the deceased. So uh, we say to them, don't go to the graveyard, don't go to the cemetery at all. Just pray the janazah wherever it's prayed and then go home. And maybe uh, afterwards, if they are family member, they can go after the burial, inshallah. Jazakallah khair, brother Abdullah. Jazakallah. Wa uh, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, Sayyidina Zakaria was the only teacher in the Masjid Al-Aqsa. And he became so concerned. If he dies, who's going to teach the deen after him? Who's going to teach the religion after him? Are you concerned as a Muslim when you leave this world? Who's going to teach Islam after we leave this world? Look at Prophet Zakaria. He was concerned. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. He was concerned. Look what his dua. Ya Rabb, inni khiftu al-mawaliya min warai. I'm concerned 
about Al Mawali behind me. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Sheikh Karim. This is uh, Sister Amal again from Montreal, Canada. Yes, Sister Amal, go ahead. I forgot to ask you another question. Uh, when the woman uh, prays, uh, she wears, uh, she, uh, I wear my, my hijab, but is it, uh, is, is it required for me to wear, uh, to hide my, my feet, to the socks? Like uh, when I go outside, I wear them, but when I'm doing salat at you home. see you see sister Amal you see sister Amal sister Amal ask a very good question for the rest of the viewers especially the sisters the aura yeah. of the salah applies whether you are in public or whether you are by yourself in the house now let's go to the issue of the feet what is required is to you cover the back of the feet not the bottom so this can be done by wearing long pants that covers it or wearing long garments that cover the, 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 the you see, uh, the, the back is the top part of the feet, sister. Okay, uh, if then you need socks, then you need socks. But the aura for the salah, I tell also the brothers who uh, pray with, with, uh, with garments uh, that, uh, that does not cover the aura because they are inside the house. No, the aura for the salah applies whether you are in the masjid or whether you are in front of people or whether you are by yourself. Jazakallah khair and sister Rahman. So, so I so I understand from your from your um, from what you said that you should you should wear the socks whether you are at home ideally or in the morning. yes ideally but but I'm saying that you don't have to wear socks what is required is you cover the back the the, the top part of the feet you could do what this do you by you know that your feet, the 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 top, not the bottom. You understand your feet? No, I'm the bottom. Yeah, the top, the top. طيب. This is what is required. You could do this by wearing long dress garments. You see, or you you could wear this by wearing long pants that covers it. But you do not have to wear socks. Okay. جزاك الله خير. بارك الله فيك. وفيك مبارك. بارك الله فيك. So Sayyidina Zakaria was concerned about the Ummah after him. I'm gonna die, I'm getting old. And who's gonna teach the deen after me? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Who's gonna teach the religion after me? I'm getting old. Wa inni khiftu al-mawali min warai. And my, my wife is barren. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah is a Karab Kif Harkum. Alhamdulillah, I have a quick question about uh, about credit card. Your name and uh, uh, you want to tell us name, state, and question? Card. Name, state, you want to tell us your name and state? Where are you calling from? Oh, uh, Abdul Hakim from Fresno, California. Okay, go ahead. What is the question about the credit cards? Um. You know, like, uh, if you need to borrow money, uh, but you don't really know who to ask. So, there's a credit card offer, offer that there's no interest until September of 2012. Now, is it okay to use that credit card as long as there's no interest, or no? I'm glad, I'm glad, brother, brother Abdul Hakim, you ask a very good question. Uh, this, you see that the problem is not with that. The problem is with the contract that after that period of time, you're agreeing that if you do not pay on time, you're going to pay interest. So this contract is a riba contract. So you as a Muslim getting into a riba contract, and this is haram, we should not do it. We should not commit ourselves as Muslims to uh, usury in any form or in any shape. Even so, you may not pay interest, you may not use riba, but the contract that you're signing leads to this in case of something happens. So my answer to you, uh, Abdul Hakim, is it is haram, it is no, don't do it, stay away from it, and make the dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestows rizq provision upon you from halal, inshallah. Jazakallah khaira. Uh, another question, Sheikh. Yes. Um, Jazakallah khair uh, for, for this uh, answer, mashallah. Another question is, uh, <coughs> Yusuf mentioned a message that he's going to lecture on tomorrow. What, what was that? Do you have any idea? Oh, uh, uh, Wallah, I forgot the name, yeah, Abdul Hakim. Um, I don't know what we can do is... Uh, um, uh, Sheikh Sayyid, maybe you can call us again, Sayyid Juma, if you uh, uh, just, the, uh, Atiq, do you remember the name of, I'm asking some of my helpers here, do you know, do you remember the name? No, I, I'm sorry, it's in California, somewhere in California, but I really, I forgot, uh, you know, I forgot. 
So, uh, what, what, what about this? Can you uh, go into the Amin uh, satellite or AmeenTV.net? AmeenTV.com, and maybe you will find something there about this. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably, I, I, I kind of know the number. Uh, brothers and sisters in Islam, uh, Sayyidina Zakaria is telling Allah, Oh Allah, I don't want children just for children, okay? I don't want children just to, to, to carry on my name after me. I don't want children just to, uh, to, to, to help me with the housework. I don't want children just to show off with them. No, Oh Allah, I want a child to teach the deen after me. I'm about to die. I'm concerned. Give me a child, Oh Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. I'm calling... Um to ask a question for the Shaykh regarding um, if a sister is trying to have a baby but um, is not having baby, is there a special sura or the law or salah or the special time she should Sub read? Subhanallah, make the dua that Prophet Zakaria made. You know, we're talking about Prophet Zakaria. You know Prophet Zakaria in some of the books of Tafsir sister, he was 99 years old. He said, actually, my hair is getting gray. Uh, and my bones are, and his wife was barren. Rabbi la tadarni farda wa anta khayrul warithin. This is a good dua that you can make. Oh Allah, do not leave me alone. Give me somebody to inherit me. Um, uh, or uh, you, you could say, Rabbi habli min ladunka dhurriyatan tayyiba, innaka sabi'u dua. Oh Allah, uh, bestow upon me a good offspring. You, indeed, we hear the dua. ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة أعين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما. All of these are du'a that you can make. But what about this, my sister, my dear sister, tonight? Why don't you have the the intention in your heart that you want a child who will, inshallah, learn the Quran and become a teacher of the religion of Islam, and you're gonna be devoted, inshallah, for this child to 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 learn the Deen and 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 so forth. And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will make it possible for you, inshallah, with the du'a and seeking the means, inshallah. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala bestow upon you children, Ya Rab. Tafdali. Is there a special time to read that prayer? Any, like a, a, any a, time. A any time. Keep making it. Keep making it. Keep making this dua. Rabbi la tadar. That's what Sayyidina Zakaria used to do. Uh, uh, he said, Walam akun bi dua'ika rabbi shaqiyya. And I'm making dua all the time and I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up. Rabbi la tadarni fardan wa anta khayrul warithin. Wa Zakaria idna da rabbahu. Rabbi la tadarni fardan wa anta khayrul warithin. فاستجبنا له ووهبنا له يحيى وأصلحنا له زوجه سبحان الله يعني the story of سيدنا زكريا إخوة is so overwhelming and 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 Allah سبحانه وتعالى giving him يحيى يحيى when he was ninety nine years old and his wife is barren because he kept making du'a he kept making du'a he kept making du'a so make du'a make du'a sister إن شاء الله this is this is from the surat Imran verse Yes, uh, you have this in Surat Ala Imran, you have this in Surat Maryam, the beginning of Surat Maryam, and you have this also in Surat Al Anbiya, uh, the third page from the last page, Surat Al Anbiya, the last verse in the third page if you use the, the Mus'haf, uh, the Rasm al Madina. Wazakariya is na, Wazakariya is na, the Rabbahu Rabbi la tadarni farda wa anta khayrul warithin. Fastajabna lahu wa wahabna lahu yahya wa aslahna lahu zawja. Innahum kanu yusari'una fil khayrati wa yad'oonana. They used to make dua, raghaban wa rahaba wa kanu lana khashi'in. So make dua, inshallah, and we'll make dua for you, my dear sister. Jazakallah wa khaira. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Brothers and sisters in Islam, if you ask an average Muslim now, why do you have children? Uh, I'm sorry, why do you get married? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Name, state, and question, please. Assalamu alaikum uh, from Florida. Uh, question regarding the people who question uh, regarding wearing socks. Is a sister uh, uh, required to wear all the time uh, socks or cover her feet? Okay, she wear outside sandals or flip flops and show her feet? At home? 
at home or where? That are allowed to wear outside. Outside, temples, outside, or... outside. The okay. only aura, the only aura, the only parts for women to show it's permissible. Al wajha, the face, wal kafain, and the two hands. The two, al kafain, hada wal kaf, not the hand, al kafain. They will call it the palms in English, the palms in English. Any other part of the body is a aura, she must cover. Jazakallah khairan. Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. If you ask a, a Muslim now, how, how long we still have? Uh, one, more. one more minute. Uh, I guess I cannot finish my story, but uh, I really, this issue really, 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 really uh, tackles me. If you ask an average Muslim now, why do you get married? We know we get married because we want to guard our chastity. I get married because of this and this and this and this and this and, this and that and that and that. But you know Umar ibn Khattab made a statement, brothers and sisters in Islam. You know what he said? Wallahi, by Allah, inni la ukrihu nafsi ala nikah hatta yakhruj min zahri nasamatun tusabbihu Allah. By Allah, I go into my spouse, having intercourse with my spouse, and all what I have in my heart, that I want an offspring, that will come out of my back will say la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah if we all as muslims have this attitude the condition of this muslim ummah will change this is the way brothers and sisters in islam to change the condition of the ummah is the next generation focusing on the next generation focusing on the youth i'm your host karim abu zaid again I came live today from Denver, Colorado. And inshallah, uh, like we told you, our show is Tuesdays, Thursdays, Sundays at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the live show. Let's talk about it. That's how uh, uh, the name uh, came about. Let's talk about it. Again, 9.30 p.m. on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays because I am on travel inshallah uh, this coming Sunday and this coming Tuesday so I will see you bi'idhnillahi ta'ala next Thursday inshallah if I'm still alive because of my travel I love you all for the sake of Allah any mistake that I did tonight is from myself and from shaitan anything that is good I said is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to make me a flame that burns just for you. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to make me a bridge where you cross to Jannah and I fall in the hellfire. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to save me the hellfire from the hellfire and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give me Jannah as well. And the way to get this is sincerity. So I'm begging Allah to bestow sincerity upon, you, upon me. Jazakum Allahu Khaira till the next show. Let's talk about it Thursday night, 9:30 p.m. Assalamu alaikum.